Hello guys, it's me Z from Wireless Solution and today we are going to uh, show you how to Google bypass the uh, new phone, the Moto G7 Power and you can see we need to go back. So for this purpose select the language. Uh, it will be a little different from the other videos because this is the newer way. So once you click on this one, you need to click on this language. Now click on the lock sign, double tap here. Once you are here, uh, click on here, you can see the plus sign, click here. Once you click the plus sign, uh, tab here. Uh, you can see the word sign, click on here. Right, you are on this keyboard, so select this. First you need to select the downward, then select this one. Once you, it's this green option, you need to select this one now if we are already here so what we are going to do you can select any of the uh, thing that has arrow in front of it so let's suppose you select this you can see these three dots click on this one go to the down dots i don't know which one is the youtube one but i'll try to select one by one and this is not the one the second one is not the one the fourth one no the first one no mm -hmm. okay let's do something different here okay so select this one select one more of the keyboard option uh, now go back uh, go back because I don't know which one is English and which one so now change this one to English click select mm, and uh, do this one now click on here aid search you can see before there used to be no uh, word sign now here you can see click on this one mm, click and place on this one right now select language uh, add keyboard once you add keyboard I normally select something else but uh, I normally Uzbekistan I normally select but let's go with Turkish now you can see these three dots go help and feedback mm. you can select this option it will take you to YouTube now about you can click on the clock sign it will take you to YouTube uncheck this accept and continue no thanks now here we are, what we are going to do is we are going to download a software and known as bit dot l y forward slash l a u n c h e r launcher but that is L, it's not U H E R underscore A P E X. Now go forward, download this one. Once it's uh, start downloading, let it allow OK. And then what you are going to do, hit open, go to setting. And install this one once it is installed I'm sorry if you guys cannot see it I think this one will be a little better now hit open so we are here now what we are going to do we are going to <coughs> now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to go to the setting option of the phone we need to um, first go to security and this and then what you can do is device administration turn this off okay turn device administration off but go to location turn on location okay and uh, it will show you Wi-Fi scanning allow app 
and service to scan Wi-Fi network at any time even when the Wi-Fi okay so you did this now what we are going to do we need to go to uh, download two new two more software <clears throat> one of them is going to be bit.ly forward slash um, frp underscore google okay now we are going to download this one okay once it's downloaded hit open install it and this one is done the other one we are going to download is uh, bit.ly forward slash frp new okay frp um underscore bypass sorry i didn't realize the phone is uh, kind of big so you guys cannot see it but now i think you will be able to see it uh, so you click on this one forward next download once it's downloaded click ok uh, open once it's open install this one once this one is installed hit open <coughs> now you can see the three dots here click on this one okay log in with the new gmail that you have so i'm going to log in with mine okay i'm going to put the password okay so i'm logged in with my gmail and you can click this so you can go back once you go to the main screen now what you are going to do is uh, go okay we did uh, this step always so what you're going to do you just need to restart the phone in the meanwhile the phone is restarting what we are going to do is uh, we have another phone right we need to log in sign in with google okay <coughs> now we sign it with google so it's gonna be uh, we you need to log in with the same gmail that you have in that phone and now i'm going to put the password okay well this one you need to select next skip And this one I'm going to log in with the password once it's take us to the fingerprints. And uh, please guys subscribe the channel, like the videos, uh, share it with your friend. Maybe you guys don't need it, someone else will need it. And um, I really do appreciate your comment, subscription, everything that helps us, helps you. It gives us motivation uh, to make more videos, spend more time and uh, find time from our busy schedules. So it may take a few seconds while I'm here I'm going to okay it's already done uh, don't copy from the old device hit ok hit next okay now once you are here you will leave the phone here 
uh, log in with the gmail over here i agree i log in with the google play with the new phone and the same gmail that i put after frp bypass download um now i'm going to download an app google my okay then mm, google find my device app now i'm going to install this one go okay so after i install this one you need to click open uh, the same gmail that i just put in this phone so continue as this one you need to put your password uh, in, uh, okay allow now you can see that that one is moto g7 power uh, what we are going to do is set up and secure send okay once you refresh it you can see secure device click on secure device so you will create a new password okay so the password i'm going to create is one two one two and confirm one two one two okay okay what's the problem one two one two okay sure okay now you can see that this device is being locked so what we are going to do is right so the upper password is one two one two okay now skip Continue. I agree. Cancel. I agree. No thanks. No thanks. You can see. Now we don't need this phone. We just need to accept and continue. I'm in. Moto app launcher just once now we are already in this phone so what we are going to do now is we are going to go straight to the setting go about okay factory erase factory set erase all the data reset the phone the password is one two one two okay and now the phone is gonna be reset completely and your phone is completely brand new thank you so much guys uh, hope you enjoy your time hope you like the video please subscribe the channel anything else any question anything about the video leave the a comment in the section box thank you have a nice one enjoy your time